What's up everybody? Well today, I'm here to show you another vacuum that just joined my vacuum collection today. This time, it's another Kirby. Another old school Kirby at that. What I have here is my recently acquired Kirby Classic 3. This is my first true old school Kirby if you exclude the tradition and the Heritage 2, of course. But I got this from a seller on OfferUp for only 50 bucks, and it came with every attachment you could, you could have gotten back then. It's got the, the Miracle Head, the original warranty and instruction book and it's got the rug renovator so even its original shampoo bottle which was likely never used and even all of its attachments. Now, it, now, I'd like to point out this did have a hose with it at one time, but 40 years later, that hose is no more. It just ripped apart, or actually came to me ripped apart, which I honestly feel like someone should give it a break from it being 40 years old. But some people are gonna have arguments with that. But forty years now, it has no now it has no more hose, so I gotta buy a replacement for that. But now back to the machine. I do have its original outer bag, but just for now, I have rigged up this disposable bag setup, utilizing a Kirby Heritage One outer bag and mini emptor. This is the old style emptor, I'd like to point that out. But it's just painted black for, or dark gray for the Heritage One. And it actually has a, a conversion plate from the factory that you can mount a a filled tube on so you can run disposable bags. I'm sorry I'm not giving the best picture, but it basically screws in on both sides. And up top here, the fill neck is, is not original. This is another a conversion I did. I basically just took off the old fill tube that had the style two style outer bag, or excuse me, disposable bag. And I converted it to run this newer style fill neck, so now you can run modern Kirby HEPA bags in this. You can convert it to run the F style bags, but I just chose this for, for right now because I didn't want to deal with the F style collar. And as you can see, I even went as far as to To attaching the old classic three style trim and bag holder up top it doesn't really fit the best but it looks okay for the time being and I even reuse the classic three bag trim around the the emptor and even the lower tray right down here is also from the original classic three emptor and you could simply open it from the bottom like so. So if you have anything that's heavy, like coins and stuff that falls to the bottom and doesn't get blown into the bag, you can get access to it from here. So, very nice setup. It does have its original cord, but Unfortunately, it does have a nice little tear right here, so 
I'm gonna have to source a replacement. More likely than not, that replacement is gonna be a black cord, unfortunately. I'm just doing this for safety reasons. I don't wanna cause a fire hazard. But this is what your original cord looks like. We'll move on down here. We get right here, you lift up, here's your, your little headlight right there. And you have this interesting little vent right here that you basically just open that and you can relieve off airflow if, if your suction is too high, which was the case for some that have the original fan impeller which unfortunately, and let me go ahead and slide the belt lifter off to take tension away from the belt. Tilt the head forward. This vacuum does have the newer or quote unquote newer style fan impeller. This is the 11 blade gray plastic fan impeller, which eventually, I'm going to source a replacement because Kirby dealers have have learned on never trusting this gray plastic fan because it's a very thin plastic. At least it thins out over time when you're using it. And if you vac up, vacuum up something extremely heavy, it could damage the fan blades. In the worst case, it'll take the motor, which... It's a shame that this doesn't have its original metal fan because Kirby owners say that the the metal fan impeller m creates more airflow than these plastic fans do. So if I'm lucky, maybe I'll find a metal fan for it. But if not, I'm going to have to get a white Lexan plastic fan, which those are pretty good, I will say. And you can run the same style fan in this as you can in the Heritage machines. Basically, that, that fan blade works all the way up from the 516s all the way to Legend 2 before they discontinued and replaced it with the G-Series. So now let's go ahead and put this latch back on. It is very stiff over, over the years of sitting for so long. Then loop the belt around the shaft. I do like how on these, the belt lifter has these two notches that line up around the top. And then when you put the headlight back down, it kind of catches on and kind of contours into the belt lifter. So that is kind of nice. So now let's go ahead and tilt it on its side and show you the underneath. There is the brush roll. This is a replacement. I would like to point that out. This is, for the time being, on temporary loan from my Kirby tradition because it uses the same style brush roll. It does have fairly soft bristles, but surprisingly enough for for a single row brush roll, this does have pretty good agitation. And as you can see, it does have these screws on either side. What these are actually for is to dial in the performance of the brush roll, just so you can get a good performance and agitation on the carpet. So I pretty much got this dialed in as best as I could. So anyway, you have your rear recessed wheels right here. I do like how, how they did that. They did eventually do away with this in the tradition. And right here is the model number. Can't make out a date on this, but I want to say this machine has got to be from at least 76 at the oldest and 78 or 79 at the newest. But if anyone knows how to date these old Kirbys, please let me know in the comments. 
But as, as you can see, it's the classic three model 2CB. It's got a six amp motor, 120 volts, 50, 60 hertz. And as usual, these things are made in the USA. For the Kirby Company of Cleveland, Ohio, which you cannot go bad with a Kirby. They're one of the last few vacuums that are actually US made. Oh, one more thing I did forget to show is the, the speed selector switch. Basically, how it works is you have this little switch right down here, and if, you, if it's pressed down only halfway, the motor will turn on low speed, which is used for just using it as a regular upright. But if it gets pushed down even further, which it will when the hose is connected to it, the motor will turn at high speed, so you can get as much suction as you can going through the hose, so you don't have to worry about any loss of suction or low suction, which you typically do with a direct air vacuum because these things are known to produce more airflow than they do suction. So now let's go ahead and release the cord. And the cord hooks are a bit faded off over the years. They do, do kind of tend to lose their red. Let's go ahead and plug this guy in. And now we'll go ahead and turn this thing on and give you a run for you guys. So as usual, Kirby fashion, the power switch is, is down here at your foot. <laughs>
very smooth even after 40 some years but anyway I hope you've enjoyed this quick little review of my recently acquired Kirby Classic 3 you've been running with the modern disposable bag setup that a lot of cre uh, collectors like to create if they don't like to use the original shakeout bag this is one of the designs that I haven't really seen yet, but I wanted to try out to see how it looked. Because I've seen some guy use the Heritage 2 outer bags, or the Legend 2 outer bags, but with the newer style Emptor. So you guys, tell me how you think this disposable bag setup looks on this. And be sure and stay tuned for more future videos. And don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.